Edmonton, Alberta, Canada, May 8, 2011, just before Mother's Day. As another season in NHL hockey has ended, the Edmonton Oilers find themselves again out of playoff contention, and hockey fans are looking forward to next season. In professional football, moving towards the CFL draft, the Edmonton Eskimo season has been complete for months, and the Green and Gold are in the midst of making sweeping changes in head office, and the fans await a CFL contender. All in all, it's a formula that equates to the need for another form of entertainment. The Edmonton landscape lacks a professional sports team in action, and one organization, a professional basketball team, is hoping to take advantage. On the practice court stand the combined efforts of a hard-working group of owners, players, and local sports-loving group of volunteers who want to bring the city of Edmonton another option for their hard-earned sports and entertainment dollar. Their goal is to provide Edmontonians with professional basketball right in their own backyard. Not a lot of people in Edmonton know it, but for the past three years, the City of Champions has actually offered an entertaining and winning brand of professional basketball through the International Basketball League, the IBL, with a team called the Edmonton Energy. I watch more basketball playoffs than regular season, but I, I'm okay. I kind of follow it. Uh, ever heard of the IBL or the International Basketball League? No, can't say I have, sorry. Uh, what do you like to do for fun? Uh, snowboarding stuff and uh, wakeboarding, a lot of lake stuff. Ever heard of the Edmonton Energy before? Uh, not until about two minutes ago. No. Vegas? Kind of. Okay, uh, did, you, did you know IBL is a basketball league? Yes, I did. Professional basketball league. Did you know that the Edmonton has a team in the IBL? I just learned that. Uh, did you know there was a team here called the Edmonton Energy? No, I really didn't. Ever heard of the Edmonton Chill? Edmonton Chill? Were they, they used to be a... No, I haven't. Ever heard of the Edmonton Energy before? I've heard of them, yeah. Okay. Uh, how do you know about them? Where did you hear about them from? Uh, just newspaper, actually. Okay, right on. Uh, did you know that they were a professional basketball league that was in Edmonton now? Uh, I heard they were in Edmonton. I just didn't know how professional they were, what level they were at. Did you know that there was a professional basketball team in Edmonton? Yeah. Well, why not? It's something worth checking out. What do you think would be the most exciting part about basketball? Maybe that you're not a big fan, but if there's something that you wanted to watch and would go see it for, what do you think you'd go for? Honestly, probably for the dance team. Just oh, that would uh, that would definitely raise the tempo. Get it on. Yeah, something to do. Cool. Yeah, probably. Just something to do. Now with the team under the new and motivated ownership guidance of a number of Edmonton and area-based entrepreneurs, the Edmonton Energy is back under the leadership of rookie general manager Rick Stanley. I've been around basketball in Edmonton for a long time, and I guess I had the luxury of, you know, maybe being a fan last year. And they approached me in November and just, you know, I know they were, had some hiccups in the organization, and they said, what are the chances? And I said, well, I mean, this is what I'd like to see. And, this is my vision. Uh, they were very supportive, but I think the ownership group is very skeptical because they've had a few years of some, you know, maybe lower fan base than they had hoped for, and uh, money, you know, money became tight, and, and uh, there was some conflict in the organization last year, which my job was to come in and to dissolve all that. I think that I'm uh, very good at bringing that kind of dynamic together. I, I enjoy that in the job I do as an administrator, as a, as a coach of a team, and. Uh, that to me is important, those relationships and those bonds and that, that you know, that effect that, that you can have, that synergy that you build. The days of the Edmonton Chill, I mean, I think I've repaired a lot of uh, leaky faucets. Um, and, I, and I don't want to discredit, I mean, they ran their organization the way they ran it. That was their choice. Uh, it didn't work, <laughs> so for obvious reasons. I think the energy had the right concept. It was a local group of guys that wanted to do well and they wanted to support community basketball and they wanted to build Edmonton. Edmonton's an incredible amateur sport. I'm from Winnipeg. I mean, I, I, I love Winnipeg, but I came to Edmonton, I'm like, this is a sports community. I mean, amateur athletics is just outstanding. And not that it isn't in Winnipeg, but I came here and I just, I just saw uh, very proactive thinking in terms of amateur athletics. One of the reasons I started the Jasper Place Spring League with, with JP when I was here, I mean, just you know, 64 teams in a matter of a couple of years. I mean, it, it's just waiting to explode. Well, dance teams, man. I mean, Danielle, we hired, who was with the Chill in the day and back in Grant McEwen, and she's done a marvelous job. That's an organization on its own, that's just kind of a you know, subculture of what we are. 
uh, is, is growing and it's growing by numbers and they're going to build a team of their own that one day I hope is going to be the, the uh, you know, epitomized as the, the top dance program. You know, and basketball dance teams are very good. We're going to, you know, we're going to get a mascot soon. We're going to uh, move into the Go Center. There's marketing for you. We're going to look professional. We're going to have our own stadium. Um, we've aligned ourselves with community high schools in terms of marching bands, local bands, anthem singers, contests at halftime, uh, capitalize on insurance contests that people can come out and shoot for $10,000 and we build contests throughout the year. Uh, I'm going to do things that are entertaining and fun. I'm going to get those rockets and shoot them off and when we get to the Go Center and shoot t-shirts into the crowd and we're going to have some fun with it. We're going to get some big time sponsorship and we're going to roll with it and make sure people understand that it's a it's a cool thing to do. It's fun to do. Not only is management and coaching full of new faces, but the team roster is anything but the same as last season. Having the guys back for me is, is key. Uh, but I'm like the Rashawn Brodus, the Lee Scruggs, um, Troy Gottsley, who took a year off, Andrew Parker. But the new guys, got you know, local guys, Blaine LeBranche is playing. Uh, um, Casey Crawford out of Kansas City is an exciting kid to watch, big 6'9 body. Um, Quinnell Brown, who just won the MVP. Him and his teammate, Benson Collier, who is returning. So Benson's returning as a veteran, and now he's bringing the MVP from the PBL to us, who averaged 22 points a game, who's heard nothing but great things about Edmonton. And so word's getting around, and so I'm excited about some of the, you know, we're bringing an MVP, we're bringing a 6'9 kid, a 6'10 kid. Uh, Curtis Nash Jr., wow, he's, uh, he's played in France for a couple of years, played with the Anhill out of the IBL. He's a very exciting player to watch. So I'm really excited about those new guys. They're going to they're gonna really add some flair and excitement because, you know, a lot of people were maybe, well, they lost a couple guys. They got a new coach. They got a new GM. I mean, when you have that much turnover in a regular professional league, typically you don't do so well, you know. Um, and I think we're going to be doing very well. I think we've got a great coach in place. I think we've brought better players in this year. I think that uh, we're very serious about what we're doing, and uh, I like everything, the direction that we're pointing. So I, I'm excited about uh, putting some Ws up and this team potentially winning. Coach Harker is, uh, uh, I couldn't have found a better choice. Uh, I mean, we looked at some options, and I, he, he may not have the coaching experience that some guys I was looking at, but his knowledge his worldly, his cosmopolitan knowledge is crazy. I mean, it's, it's, it's wonderful. He's attached our organization internationally. And uh, I'm very impressed with the work he's done. He's very organized. He's very detailed. Hence why he just got the job at Lethbridge Community College. I mean, right away. I mean, I'm excited about for what Scouse and Harker is bringing to the team. He's very disciplined. He's strict with the guys. Uh, very similar to how I probably coach a little bit demanding but he he gets after it and he's he's a he's a common sense guy who has great values and he's a family guy and uh, I don't think we could ask for anything more I think I think we got a gem right there and boy I'll tell you at one time you know I was debating well which direction should I go I'm really grateful that we went this direction and he's really helped set the base for us